All right, well, uh, usually an, another good test for a knife for me is how well it'll work in the kitchen. And usually your uh, standard bushcraft knives uh, will not uh, cut potatoes well. They usually split them, uh, like break them apart. So let's see how this here works. You can hear that there is still a little bit of that. Um, and it's just because it's a, it's a much thicker grind, but it's light years, light years uh, beyond a Scandi ground knife in terms of ease of use with thicker type of harder vegetables like this. And that's, in my opinion, where a Scandinavian ground knife, especially the thicker ones, where they uh, just don't do it for me. And it's okay if they do for you, but they just don't really do it for me. Now I have uh, I, I have cut many many things with this knife, uh, from carrots to uh, uh, peppers and onions and different things like that. But I always find that that this is a, a very good demonstration. And as I think I've said before, carrots are usually a good uh, demonstration as well. And out in the field, you may have, uh, if you have a camp or something like that, or a deer camp, what have you, you, you may have a small cutting board or small surfaces to work on, and you don't want, uh, you know, carrots shooting out all over the place. This is usually uh, a good thing to have, a knife that will process food well. As I stated earlier, it is uh, considered a, a, a heavy hunting blade. So if you, uh, after I cut this, I can show you the difference between this and your wood lore knife. And we can sort of compare the difference with that. Now we're just gonna use these tonight to make some potato bombers which I got from a, another video and uh, the man did an excellent job making them and it uh, inspired me to uh, to do it myself. So this is all before we we mash them after we boil them. So keep the camera steady right there. I'm going to grab a couple more knives so we can show you a little bit of the difference we have. All right, so first up, we'll just uh, we'll just check out the um, the Mora Classic One. Let's see how this here handles. That's very tough, especially in a in a situation like this without any leverage, and uh, that's not good if you ask me, because many times uh, good cutting surfaces aren't available. And you may already have your pot over the fire and a, 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 a knife to where you can cut things like this and put them in the pot is very handy. And this here I can feel a little out of control and the grind doesn't cut well. Of course it binds up because of that short height grind, but it doesn't cut well. It wants to pull at odd angles and uh, that's obviously not conducive for what we're doing. Let's uh, check this out here. And of course you're, you're gonna, you, you know what we're talking about here. That's just a bear to use. So, as I was saying, uh, this Model 125 being a heavy hunting knife, it does good enough on um, uh, wood for me and good enough on food prep. And of course, uh, as it, uh, as in, in use as a heavy hunter, it does very, very well also so good crossover knife here I will have the tabletop review but I wanted to show you some uh, food prep with this knife once again thank you very much for watching